Hey, this is Amber Staklinski with Fit to Fight, and this is your Fit to Fight fix. Thank you. So we have power slashes and entry. We're going to enter in now to that, that single net tie kind of clinch work that we did. And it's going to be the exact same mechanics in terms of getting outside of the elbows, and my hip and shoulder are going to move explosively and violently. But instead of looking to slap the side of his head, I'm going to look to take my forearm and crash it into his neck. And in, in this way, too, if, if their hands are up and doing something, now I'm crashing through that line as well and getting connection. From here though, I need to move. So I am intending this to be a hard strike on the neck. I'm gonna connect hard on their head. That's gonna be all hard strikes, but I need to, to move my body so I'm not standing straight in front of them in there. So I'm making this angle. I'm doing the exact same mechanics, but I'm gonna go forearm on the neck, hand on the back of, my head, on the back of his head, and I'm looking to move myself here. I might stay connected to him, Maybe look to kind of strike from here. It could be, it probably should be open hand strikes because I'm dealing with the, the top of his head, his skull, harder part, these rising slaps to the face. I might hit him hard here, look to make space and, and move to a weapon. I might hit him hard and run if I can get that angle. Um, I might stay connected here and if he starts pushing in, start working some clinch work type of stuff. Um, Ryan did a whole series recently on, on this clinch. So this is another preemptive measure that allows me to start kind of getting control and hands on. Because the other thing is the situation um, is going to determine how my response needs to be. If I'm just looking to, to make some space and get away, I send this power slap. He takes him a second to process what's going on and I'm halfway through the parking lot. That's okay. But now put my 12 year old beagle with me. You know it's going there. I, <laughs> and we're not running very far. Even when I snatch her up, we're not going very fast. So I might have to stay connected with this person and deal with them insert beagle for kid, right? The, I might be in a situation where I, I can't get away very quickly, or maybe I don't know where I am to get away very quickly. I don't even know what's open in this shopping center. If, if I had to defend myself right here and go to get help, and I'm not 100% sure exactly where help is going to be, I need to make sure this person is not able to follow me. So instead of sending that strike, it's the exact same mechanics. I'm still trying to deescalate the situation. That's the strike here, getting connection to the head, moving myself. And from here, maybe I get to choose and I'm running them down with strikes. We looked at that kind of push off that I can use to, to make some space, move into longer range weapons if it's available. Or he might determine, I'm, I went, I pushed, I drove, he tries to turn into me, and now I'm looking for whatever comes next. And this is where clinch work matters and having that sensibility is important. So if you have those types of skills, feel free to work them in. Otherwise, hands are up. I'm still getting outside. If, sir, do I know you? Be smart about your striking here. It's, it's gonna depend on, on height differences, there are circumstances and things to consider, but I, if I have my choice, I don't want a closed fist versus the top of his head, back of his head, anything. Open hand strikes are gonna be safer. Okay, all right. Uh, go like three for three on this one. On three. Woo! I hope you enjoyed that fix and welcome to the Fit to Fight Republic.